Hi, I'm Mike with Moto IQ, and today we're going to be talking about fuel pumps. Not all fuel pumps are created equal, and when picking the fuel pump for your application, there's some things you need to be aware of. First, make sure the manufacturer of your fuel pump has all the flow data available. Not just the uh, flow amount that's written on the side of the pump, but you should actually have a chart showing the uh, flow over various pressures, and various voltages with various amp draws. Now this data is very important. For instance, if you have a turbocharged car, generally you have a one-to-one -one, uh, pressure regulator on there. So for every pound of boost pressure, you increase the uh, fuel pressure by another pound. This is to keep the fuel flow more proportional as boost pressure goes up because the fuel pump has to work against the boost pressure. You might have a pump that's uh, rated like 340 and there are some ambient conditions but once you put boost pressure on that um, fuel flow rating can drop to 200. Um, a lot of companies don't even publish their uh, flow curves and all that so be careful. It's something that you have to be aware of when you're buying a pump. Now today I'm going to be talking about AEM fuel pumps. Um, you know I've always liked AEM fuel pumps. Um, mostly because they have full data sheets available right on their website under each part number. So you have your flow over pressure and you have your flow with different voltages and um, you have your amperages under those conditions also. The amperage is handy when you're designing your uh, wiring system, making sure you have the ample um, uh, gauge wire and you have ample uh, fusing or your relays can handle the amperage load that um, your pump's going to need. AEM pumps are rated conservatively. Uh, the flow rating on the side is done at 40 psi of fuel pressure with 13.5 volts. A uh, very common condition in your typical car, especially a naturally aspirated one. Um, we have several models here. So we'll start with their basic pump. It's a uh, 340 liters per hour, typical kind of industry standard pump. Uh, many companies make uh, 340 liters per hour, but AEM has the full flow data and it's rated kind of conservatively. Basically, you have two models. Um, you have your ethanol and exotic fuel safe one, and you have your gasoline model. The ethanol exotic fuels one is good for up to 100% ethanol and methanol. Uh, the main difference is it has a ceramic pump turbine that's uh, resistant to all fuels. Um, you know, instead of plastic, it's ceramic and uh, that's really resistant to attack. And the internals are all beefed up to withstand immersion in corrosive methanol and ethanol without any harm. Uh, so totally exotic fuels compatible. Next you have uh, the Compact 340. These are really small, they're little powerhouses. Um, this little pump can move uh, 340 liters per hour at 40 psi and 13.5 volts. Packs a lot of power in the small package. Main differences is um, one of them has like a click hook mount. So if you're a stock fuel hanger uh, required, like a barb connection to click in there, uh, this has it. Uh, so it'll go right in. Um, otherwise, I think these are great pumps. They're both uh, exotic fuel compatible and uh, they're really small, have a lot of flow capacity for their size. Finally, uh, this pump is uh, pretty dear to my heart. Um, it was one of the last projects done by uh, John Concialdi, who is the VP of Engineering at AEM that passed away. Uh, John's very dear to my heart. Uh, he was one of my mentors when I was a kid. I owe a lot to him and he taught me most of the basics of what I know now. Some advanced stuff too, but John was a close friend and uh, you know his passing away uh, really affected me as a person, I think. So what I like about this pump and what makes it unique in the market is it puts out 400 liters per hour. Now that's a good output. 400 liters per hour in the same size footprint as your typical 340 pump is great. And 400 liters is a really good place in the market, I feel. Let's say you have like a 
540 horsepower four cylinder running E85. A lot of cars um, on the, that are out there kind of need that kind of flow. And before, uh, you would have to have a dual pump set up to get enough um, fuel flow, but that'd be a little bit overkill. And personally, myself, I don't like dual pumps because if one pump goes out, the car will run perfectly fine until you get up on boost and then you'll starve and kaboom. So I'd much rather have one pump. You know, that way, you know you're always getting your uh, fuel flow. But anyway, 400 is a good spot in the market. It enables a lot of cars that previously had to run two pumps uh, or a super gigantic way over capacity pump uh, to run on one compact in the tank pump. Um, like all the other ones, uh, this one puts out 400 liters per hour at 40 PSI and at 13.5 volts. Um, it's also exotic fuel compatible, uh, ceramic turbine, heavy duty innards, uh, can survive corrosive um, methanol, no problem. Uh, it comes in two different models, a single barb and the dual barb. Uh, the dual barb is for like a smaller uh, 3 8 fuel line and the single barb is for a 5 16 a little bit bigger one. That's the two differences between the models. But, um, you know, I really dig this pump and I think we're gonna be using this on a lot of our projects because it fills the sweet spot right in between um, different flow ratings and uh, ena it'll enable us to get away with a single pump where we'd have to run two. Uh, so if you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe. We don't get paid for doing this stuff and uh, it's kind of expensive to create the content. So you can become a Moto IQ member and support us. So click on the link below and we, we appreciate anything you can give to help us. So I'll be talking to you next time.